Gosh, Dorothy. Growing up, uh, Betty White made me want to live in Florida. Watching the Golden Girls, I've always loved, loved the Golden Girls. Oh, it takes a big woman to forgive somebody calling her a slut. <laughs> Sometimes you're doing something you never dreamed you'd do in our silly business. We got to do a week at SNL with Betty. All the women of SNL got to do that Mother's Day show with her, and it was inspiring just to see her timing just rock solid. Florence, there's a tangy taste in this muffin. Is that a cherry? <laughs> oh, no, no, my muffin hasn't had a cherry since 1939. People think, oh, well, yeah, poor old Betty White, she doesn't know what she's saying. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> I used to think I've been around forever, but then I worked with Betty White, and she literally has been you know, around longer than sliced bread. Dime says I hit it. Okay, you got a bet. Hey, wait a minute, hit what? Wait, wait. That fence. Pink. Oh, no. <laughs> Pick out your target after you hit it. She is this, again, this sweet sort of lovable character with an edge. Sue Ann was able to show another side that was kind of fun. Now, don't you go away. We'll be right back after this commercial message. <laughs> All clear. All right, who the hell is responsible? Because <laughs> I've always been kind of a smart ass. You know, I don't mean to be, but, but you, you kind of are kidding around a lot. She's just genuine. Like, it isn't, it isn't an axe. <laughs> I just love what I do. I'm a, the luckiest old broad on two feet to get chances to do that, and I treasure them. It's such a privilege to still be able to, to work in this business. <laughs>